Hey y'all and happy Thanksgiving Eve. I am getting ready to start cooking. It is 12 17. I'll probably be in the kitchen most of the day, even though um, I'm not going to prep that many things, but you know, I'm going to have to stop here and there for school and homework and diaper changes and uh, life. But um, yes, I'm going to start with the pie because that's a new recipe. It's probably going to take me the longest because I'm the most unfamiliar with it. And in case I totally fuck it up, I still have plenty of time today to think of an alternative dessert for tomorrow, go to the store and get the ingredients. So um, yes, I just finished the breakfast dishes and just for fun, I think I did this last year too. I'm going to start a little dish counter down here somewhere. Um, so, you know, keep up with how hard I'm slaving in here. No, it's, it's not hard work at all. I do enjoy it. Um, some woman deep, deep inside me was meant to have like a dozen kids because I really look forward to cooking a massive amount of food, but then reality sets in and it's like, mm, girl, you cook two big meals a year. Could you imagine having to cook this much food for like breakfast, lunch, and dinner all the time? I couldn't, so <laughs> I, I stopped at two. Something stopped me at two for a reason. But anyway, just random thoughts of Michelle. Uh, but yeah, ma'am, let's let's get cooking. Oh, and for this momentous occasion of having my first Thanksgiving here in Naples, I got new baking dishes. I got a huge ass measuring cup it's a quart or four cups the one that i have now is two cups i did get a glass pie dish because the ones that i have now are metal and i'm just afraid that the metal taste will rub off on the crust for some reason i don't know irrational fears but anyway it's here and then i got this large baking dish i love the ones with the lids because um you know dishes are already a hassle on that day anyway and this just allows for the leftovers to already be you know ready to go right in the fridge so um, i'm gonna do my baked mac and cheese in this pan all right um I
is in the oven, I'm unusually worried because I just read the directions again and it says that um, make sure to pinch the ends together. My crust on the bottom didn't overlap the pan. I had a feeling that I should because I watched enough tutorials at this point to know like that's what's supposed to happen. But I just stuffed some little extra dough in there and uh, we'll see. It's looking pretty good so far. I'm trying not to watch it because you know, my nerves. But anyway, I'm gonna tackle this and then hopefully by the time I'm done, um, I'll have a pie update. First sink of baking dishes done. I have to bake one more time today, but I'm gonna take a break from that because it's pretty um, tedious for me. Baking just feels so <sighs> terminal. You know, like <laughs> when you do it, there's not a lot you can tweak or change afterwards. The recipes are pretty tedious. They take a lot of ingredients at different moments and it's just like pour, stir, stop, whisk, dump it upside down, do the hokey pokey, I don't know. It's tiring to me. So I'm gonna candy some yams, relatively easy, and just prep them to the point where I pop them in the oven tomorrow. And um, then my pie should be done and I should really have a pie update for you. But let's get back to it. kitchen is just chugging along so the yams are candied um the stuffing is done and ready it's just resting in this bowl right now i need a dish to put it in and i have another sink full of dishes to do so i'm gonna go ahead and knock these on out the way get my stuffing in this container and uh, then i want to do the dinner rolls but i just remembered i have to conquer this bird um y'all i like to do everything to my turkey I like to brine it, inject it, and do a dry rub because I don't like no dry turkey and I want it to be like full of flavor. And since we're putting it on the grill for the first time this year, um, you know, I just, 
I don't want to risk anything. I just want to church it up as much as I possibly can, just in case anything goes left. But let me get to these dishes and get to this stuff in and get to this bird. And then I think the last thing on the list today is dinner rolls. And it is 4.55, man. We're just chugging along here, making great time. You know what? So let me just give you a little history of my Thanksgivings. This is my third one. My first one, I hosted my best friend, her husband, her four kids, and it was just me and Gabriel in San Diego. Um, Jake was deployed. The first time I hosted Thanksgiving, it absolutely fucking sucked. It was my first time cooking. I was cooking for, well, I felt like I was cooking for a lot of people because it was eight of us total. But um, my best friend's kids are like real picky about what they eat. So they wouldn't have eaten a lot of what I cooked anyway. But um, I just felt like I should cook in mass quantities. And the larger you cook, like, you know, the more everything you have to use. And I just found that out the hard way on the day. And um, the food wasn't great. I mean, they struggled through it and I appreciate them for it. But um, no, mm -mm, the food was not great. So last year, I really, really downsized. And, you know, it was just the four of us. And Noah was only a month old. Yeah, Noah was only a month old. So she wasn't even, you know, consuming anything off the menu then. And um, I just really downsized everything. Took my time. Tried. Mm -mm. That was my cutting board. Tried recipes leading up to the day and, uh, you know, practiced. Practiced like crazy all year long just to redeem myself from that horrible Thanksgiving the year before. And everything worked out fine. So I have recipes this year that are tried and true from previous years. Yes, um, yesterday. Last year was a banger. And, um, you know, this year's going to be great too. But I also found out that on my first Thanksgiving, I didn't prep anything or I thought that I had prepped but not really I didn't do a lot of like chopping of vegetables or any of that and that takes the longest so um I learned my lesson the hard way don't learn this lesson the hard way like I did please don't don't do that don't don't do that um but anyway I'm gonna get back to it I'm gonna smash these dishes get them out of the way and then uh, you know get back to cooking <laughs>
my dough is done i have a new sink full of dishes here but the turkey's there so i'm gonna have to wait i'm waiting for my brine to cool um i got glasses he got glasses <laughs> i'm waiting for my brine to cool i'm gonna toss it on my turkey and then uh i think that's it for today what i'm sure there's something i'll think of that i'm forgetting but i'm pretty confident that's it but i need you to It's 8 37. I'm wrapping things up. I got my stuffing, my yams, the pie, and the dough for my rolls. The turkey's in here brining away. I'm gonna get up probably around 2 or 2 30 just to flip it so the other side can brine. And that's it for today. So I'll see you on the morning. 2 30. So happy Thanksgiving, I guess. I need to flip this turkey and then I'm getting my ass back in bed. Let's be transparent with the pricing. This is my first year totaling everything that I spent just for this holiday. And, um, you know, let, let's just, get to the details. Um, I spent $225 just on food, $24 on drinks, and $25 on new bakeware. If you'll remember, I got a measuring cup, a pie dish, and a new, like, uh, I think nine by 13 Pyrex dish. So in total, with the food, the drinks, and the bakeware, I spent $274 on this holiday. Um, let me know if that is significantly higher or cheaper than in the states because this is my first year totaling it um and i'll continue to you know get my pricing together in years to follow hopefully there will be many many more thanksgivings that we spend together and um yes we'll have a, a comparison and you know see how prices and life is changing where we are so um yeah let's hop back to it hello good morning happy thanksgiving for real this time it's um, almost six and I'm going to start my ham. The ham's going to take the longest. Um, I read about four to six hours and sis, I'm trying to eat around noon because I'm hungry now. <laughs> If you're especially talented like myself, you always buy a ham that's larger than your crock pot. Yeah, and with the crock pot, you know, you want the lid to be flat so it can keep all of that steam and heat and goodness in. But my lid is not going to lay flat on there. So. Just 
just tint this really tightly with some foil and then pop the lid on and it's you know good to go So another quick little Thanksgiving trick that I do for myself is I make a time list. I say, okay, well, I want to eat around 12 or 12.30, and then I time everything according to plan. Um, the first year that I took Thanksgiving, things went horribly wrong because I was doing things like cooking the turkey at enough time, but not accounting for the time that it needs to settle. The turkey needs an hour to settle. So, you know, if you want to eat at noon, it has to come off of the grill, out of the oven, out of the deep fryer at 11, and then it has to rest for an hour. Um, the dough for my rolls has to rise for 30 minutes twice, so I have to add an hour to that. With the ham, I'm going to need the juice from it to make a glaze later. So that's going to take, I would say, about 20, 30 minutes. And if it's your first time doing something on Thanksgiving, which, you know, I don't recommend from past experience, but if it is your first time, allow yourself a very impressive grace period. So here's my list. I just have the time that everything should be going on. So the ham is on at six and it's what? 617 right now, so not bad. Um, that's my longest thing. And the turkey needs to go on at eight. I also need to do the dry rub and I need to inject it before it goes on the grill. Oh, and it also needs to come to room temperature before it goes on. So I'll probably take that out around seven, start getting everything ready for it, and then we'll pop it on the grill at eight. And um, I just have little notes here. My rolls need to go in the oven at 11.45, but since I made my dough last night, um, the dough has to come to room temperature and then it has to rise again for 30 minutes. So I need to take that out about two hours before I'm due to pop them in the oven. Just, you know, jot, you don't have to have a full list. It doesn't have to be fancy. Just jot down what you need and what time it needs to be going on so you can plan accordingly. I'm gonna go ahead and get my collars out. Oh, oh boy. And finally. That's gonna be super easy though. Chop some onions, some garlic, put them in with a little bit of water and some chicken broth and they're fine. And also, if you have one of these, I would recommend using it. Alexa, show me my reminders. Michelle, here are your reminders. So, um, I always set a 15 minute timer for the crock pot just to make sure that I have turned it on, plugged it in, and it is working. So that's that one. And then she'll tell me to, you know, start the turkey this is take out the dough but she, she's something i mean she gets it for the most part i've got the greens on here and then check the ham so once the turkey goes on i'll set another reminder and i recommend reminders rather than alarms because unless you give the alarm a title it'll go off and you're gonna have so many things moving that day that you're gonna forget what it's for so yeah, just set the reminders and then you can always ask her to show you the reminders and scroll through them just to make sure that you have everything you need. It's time for me to take the turkey out, but I totally forgot to get my pans down and wash them. If that happens to you with one of like your big time sensitive things, still take it out. It's the birds running all night. It's going to be so good. I'm so excited. But I'm just gonna sit it over here, get these dishes washed up, and then, you know, hop back to it.
You ready for my bird? I got it sitting right at 450 now. Okay. Sir, you ready for my bird? <laughs> I was like, dang it. Oh. <laughs> oh dang, it's so quiet. Yeah. I thought it's so quiet. Do you want to see it real quick? Or? Oh, wow. It's looking good, right? It is. It smells really good, but I'm concerned that the breast is cooking just a little too quick for my taste. It still has like two hours to go. So I'm just gonna tint it and try to distribute the heat a little Hi, hello. So are you surprised to see me? I'm sure I'm cooking somewhere up and through this video right now. And I just decided to plop this right here because in some crazy way, I have over 100 subscribers. I wanted to thank everybody for watching me. Thank everybody for subscribing and do, you know, just a teeny tiny giveaway. I am going to give away two $40 Amazon gift cards to the first two people who contact me. My Instagram is always down below in the description. You can leave a comment, just whatever way. I don't even care if you're, you know, not a real person and you use a burner email. It doesn't matter to me. Just say first or second or <laughs> somewhere in my DMs and the comments below and let me know. You know, just the first two to listen to me long enough to see this or hear this and that pop up in my DMs or the comments are going to be the first two that I pick. So once again, thank you guys so much and um, let's keep it rolling. My neighbors are gonna be like, damn, they grill everything. <laughs> yeah, we bust the grill out like, I don't know, probably two or three times a week. Let's see. All right. So I'm just right about halfway. I'm just gonna rotate this. The fall seems to be doing us good. But um, I think this bird might be close to done. I'll leave it for about 30 more minutes and then I'll check it again.
Both of these were super cheap, but um, now that I got everything moving in here, uh, it's time for celebratory glass. Which bottle, baby? Do I want? Mm hmm. Should we open first? Oh, the one with the palm tree looking thing. Oh, um, that one it is. No, y'all didn't miss anything, but I just noticed my water was boiling. So I'm going to dump my noodles and then I'm going to pour my drink. I'm old enough to know better than this, but I started drinking on an empty stomach. I only drink on like Thanksgiving, Christmas, my birthday, because I'm just at that age where it makes me tired. But um, I'm feeling just a little buzzed and I've only had half a glass of Prosecco. So baby, I have to slow down if I'm gonna continue cooking dinner effectively. But um, yes, I have, everything is on except for the green beans, but those are gonna be the quickest because they were canned. Um, Jake's on the turkey. He's handling it out there and things are just moving along in here. I think they're going to move pretty quickly. It's 1030. I wasn't expecting, um, well, yeah, I wanted to eat at between 12, 1230 and, um, the turkey's on its way to being done. The ham will be done in probably about a half hour or so. And yes, I am excited and I'm ready to eat. <laughs> I also have the massive talent of putting way too many noodles in a pot. I had a big, like, tall stock pot, but I put it into storage because, of course, I didn't think that I would be cooking this much. But, um, yeah. hopefully these will be okay. I think they'll be fine. Maybe risk it and add a little more water here. I think I got too much going on in my little kitchen. Like all the windows are starting to fog up here. Look at this. These guys are hella foggy. And then these back here are starting too. I'm just trying to work fast before the pasta cools off, but the cheese is melting just fine. I did forget to take my frozen cheese out of the freezer and defrost it with the greens, but um, I just set it over near the stove and it'll be defrosted in no time because um, it's super fucking hot over there today. And I need that cheese to top the mac and cheese with before I pop it in the oven to bake it for a bit. Oh, 
Oh my god, I'm so hungry. Ugh. I told Jake I do this every single year. I always don't eat in the morning and then cook all day. And it's like, how can you not be hungry with being around this amount of food all morning? Ugh. That's why it's like Thanksgiving lunch around here. My family always eats Thanksgiving dinner. Um, it's normally cooked at like five or six o'clock. And I'm just looking at like other people's Instagram stories and they're posting their plates at like one o'clock. So I always, always wanted to do a Thanksgiving lunch. So whenever I make it, I make sure it's done early. And then, you know, that also allows so much time for us to spend with each other. And it allows for uh, a Thanksgiving dinner to assist. Because we eat so late that there was like no time to really consume any leftovers. And then you're taking them home with you. And I don't want to do that. How's the turkey, baby? That worked out perfectly. Now, let's get in a pan and get it ready for baking. Um, my rolls, I'm one short this year. I always make the first row of rolls way too big for the pan. And then I end up being short somewhere. But I'm only one short this year, so I'm getting a little better. Maybe around Christmas we'll actually get the amount of rolls that the dough is supposed to make. But yes, I'm gonna pop this in a pan and then everything is going over here. It's good. Um, the turkey's a little concerning, but uh, we'll get to that in a second. Now she's a little crispy but I think it'll be okay. The brush just cooked a little sooner than I was expecting. Michelle, here is your reminder. Start the collard greens. She doing her job today. So maybe the worst part about today is that I thought the thermometer was broken. It indeed is not broken. I don't think my ham was cooking the entire time. Or I think it was like being lightly steamed. So um, I think we're looking at an hour or so until dinner starts. It's 11.20, so my self-imposed start time might actually happen. But um, I'm just gonna check the temp on this ham in an hour. If we don't eat it for our Thanksgiving lunch right now, we will definitely eat it later on tonight after it's cooked. It's on high, I'm not really worried about it. Um, Cheers to you and yours if you're hosting anybody because the pressure's really on then. But it's the four of us and I'm just hosting, you know, this drink to my mouth right now, so.
It's almost one o'clock and I am toast. I got a gut full of good food and Prosecco and I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving to you and yours. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.